Welcome. Welcome to class 5 EBS lesson. Who will do this work? Cleaning drainage. Cleaning drainage. Cleaning sewage. Cleaning toilet scavenger. Scavenger. Scavengers mopping the floor. Thrash man. Sweepers. Have you ever thought of people who do this work? What is our responsibility to keep the place clean? Why do you think people need to do this kind of work? Imagine. What would happen if nobody did this work? If nobody cleared the garbage lying outside your school or your house for one week? Then what would happen? Think of some ways so that people would not have to do the work they don't like to do. Now glance at some other jobs. Cobbler mending shoes. Cobbler. Blacksmith. Blacksmith. Potter. Potter. Electrician. Electrician. Street vendors, street vendors, painter, painter, teacher. Traffic police, driver, driver, architect, porter, porter, milkman. Barber, Barber, Engineer, Doctor, Astronaut, Hospital Attendant, Attendant, Newspaper man, scientist. If you were asked to do any five jobs shown in the picture, which would you choose? Which five jobs would you not choose? Why? What kinds of work or jobs do people not want to do? Why? So, who does this kind of work? 
why do people do this kind of work that others do not want to do do people look at different kinds of work in the same way if not why is this so why is it important to bring a change do you think that anyone has ever tried to change this situation yes many people have tried people are trying even today but it is not easy to change this one such person was mahatma gandhi in the heart of ahmedabad is nestled probably the humblest dwelling of one of the greatest men on earth shabarmati ashram is just not a place to walk back in time to take a peek in the life of mahatma gandhi but it is a destination for introspection as well now locate ahmedabad on the map the ashram exits in the arts as much as it does on the bank of the shabarmati by mahatma gandhi gandhi ji sabarmati ashram Gandhi ji had a friend Mahadev bhai Desai Mahadev bhai's son Narayan also stayed with Gandhi ji when he was young This incident is from Narayan's book When Narayan Babla was about 11 years old he was staying in Gandhi ji Sabarmati ashram Like everyone else in the ashram he had to do various kinds of work one of his jobs was to teach the guests how to clean the toilets in those days the toilets were not what we know today they used to be holes under which baskets were kept people sat on the holes later the baskets had to be lifted by hand to be emptied He would clean the toilets himself. They did all their work themselves, following Gandhi ji. The toilets were very different in those days. There used to be holes under which baskets were kept. People sat on the baskets. Guests at Gandhi ji's ashram had to learn this work also. If you were one of these guests, what would you do? It was the usual practice that people from a particular community would do this work. But in Gandhi ji's ashram, every person had to carry the basket to the composite pit and empty it there. no one was excused from this task not even the guests narayan bai remembers how some people used to try and avoid this work some even left the ashram because of this some years later gandhi ji went to stay at a village near walda in maharashtra gandhi ji Mahadev bai and others started to clean the toilets in the village they did this for some months one morning a man coming from the toilet saw mahadev bai he pointed to mahadev bai and said there is a lot of dirt over there go and clean that when babla saw this he was very angry he thought the villagers felt that this was not their work this was for gandhi ji and a state to do he asked gandhi ji why this was so gandhi ji replied 
untouchability is a serious matter lot of hard work will be required to change this narayan knew that the people who usually did this work were thought to be untouchable he said what is the use if the village people do not change their thinking they have become used to someone else doing this work for them gandhi ji replied why don't you think the people who clean also benefit from it they also learn a lesson to learn something is like learning a new skill even if it is a cleaning job little narayan was not convinced he again argued those who make a place dirty but do not clean it should also learn lessons gandhi ji and narayan continued to argue about this but when he grew up Narayan always followed the path shown by Gandhi ji. All scavenging work in the ashram was done by the inmates. Gandhi guided them. People of different races, religious and colors lived there. No dirt could be found anywhere on the ashram ground. All rubbish was buried in pits. peeling of vegetables and leftover food was dumped in a separate manure pit the night soil too was buried and later used as manure wastewater was used for gardening the farm was free from flies and stink though there was no pakka drainage system sariya gandhi and his co-workers undertook sweepers work by turns He introduced bucket latrines and bicameral trench latrines. Gandhi showed his new innovation to all visitors with pride. Rich and poor, leaders and workers, Indians and foreigners, all had to use these latrines. This experiment slowly removed a version of scavenging from the minds of orthodox co-workers and women inmates of the ashram. Narayan and Gandhi ji discussed all this many years ago have things changed now Two years before his death Gandhi stayed in the sweepers colony in Bombay and Delhi for some days he wished to share the same lodging and partake of their food but then he was too old for the experiment teachers and students role is very important to create awareness on cleanliness in today's world the role of social media is important to create awareness among the people and inculcate a feeling of nationality among them cleanliness is not only the responsibility of the safai kamgar that is sanitation worker or local government it is the responsibility of all indians gandhi ji emphasized that servants quarters should be as clean as the masters bungalows responsibility of people towards cleanliness to protect the environment gandhi ji said so long as you do not take the broom and the bucket in your hands you cannot make your towns and cities clean when he inspected a model school he told the teachers you will make your institution ideal if besides giving the students literary education you have made cooks and sweepers of them to the students his advice was if you become your own scavengers you will make your surroundings clean it needs no less courage to become an expert scavenger than to win a victoria cross the villagers near his ashram refused to cover excreta with earth they said surely this is bhangi's work it is sinful to look at faces more so to throw earth on them gandhi personally supervised the scavenging work in villagers to set an example 
He for some months himself used to go to villages with a bucket and a broom. Friends and guests went with him. They brought bucket full of dirt and stool and buried them in pits. We can conclude that cleanliness is important in our life as well as for the nation. It is well known that the Mahatma Gandhi personally took the effort to achieve the change that he wanted to see. So let us all work for the cleanliness of our surroundings and our nation. It is the responsibility of every citizen to make India completely clean. It's a need of the present. All the people should actively participate to clean India to fulfill the dream of Mahatma Gandhi for the protection of the environment, for our safety and for a healthy future. Now let us look into an another great personality, Baba Sahib Ambedkar, who worked to eradicate untouchability. Born into a poor, low Mahat caste family, on April 14, 1891, Baba Sahib Ambedkar had a tough childhood. His family was treated as untouchables. A childhood story. This story is almost 100 years old, 7 years old B. Went to his village in Maharashtra with his father to spend his holidays. He saw a barber cutting the long hair of a rich farmer's buffalo. He thought of his own long hair. He went to the barber and asked for a haircut. The barber replied, If I cut your hair, both my razors and I will get dirty. Oh, so to cut human hair? can be a dirtier than cutting an animal's head, wondered little bee. His schoolmates would not eat beside him. His teachers did not touch his copies as he came from a family that was considered unclean by the orthodox Hindus. Ambedkar continuously fought for the eradication of caste discrimination that had fragmented the Indian society. Born in a socially backward family, Ambedkar was the victim of caste discrimination, inequality and prejudice. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar dedicated his life working for the upliftment of the Dalit, the untouchables, and the socially backward class of India is a messiah for the downtrodden. Later, this little beam was known as Beam Rao Baba Sahib Ambedkar. He became very famous across the world. Baba Sahib fought for justice for people like him. After India's freedom, the constitution was prepared under the leadership of Baba Sahib. He also joined hands with Gandhi in the Arijan movement, which protested against the social injustice faced by people belonging to backward caste in India. However, fighting against all odds, he received a higher education, becoming the first ever untouchable to do so. After completing his studies, he launched himself politically, fighting for the rights of the depressed class and against the inequality practiced in the society. He went on to become the first law minister of Free India and the framer of chief architect of the Constitution of India. Baba Sahib Ambedkar and Mahatma Gandhi were two of the most prominent personalities who protested against the untouchability in India. The word Harijan 
was spiritual form of untouchable coined by Mahatma Gandhi. Arijan means children of God. He believed that God was the friend of the friendless, help of the helpless and the protector of the weak. To accelerate the efforts to achieve universal sanitation coverage and to put focus on sanitation, the Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, launched the Swachh Bharat mission on 2nd October 2014. The mission aims to achieve a Swachh Bharat by 2019 as a fitting tribute to Mahatma Gandhi on his 150th birth anniversary. The campaign was officially launched on 2nd October 2014 at Rajkat, New Delhi by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It is India's largest cleanliness drive to date with 3 million government employees and students from all parts of India participating in 4,043 cities, towns and rural areas. SBA Swachh Bharat Abhiyan Swachh Bharat Mission is a nationwide campaign in India for the period 2014 to 2019 that aims to clean up the streets, roads and infrastructure of India's cities, towns, urban and rural areas. The campaign's official name is in Hindi and translates to Clean India Mission in English. The objects of, of Swachh Bharat include eliminating open defecation through the construction of household owned and community owned toilets and establishing an accountable mechanism of monitoring toilet use. Why did Gandhiji and his team start doing the job of cleaning? What do you think about this? Do you know any such people in your area who try to help others in solving their problems? Find out. What are the toilet arrangements in your house? Where is the toilet? Inside the house or outside? Who cleans the toilet? How did the man who was returning from the toilet behave with Mahadev Bhai? Why did he behave like this? How do people generally behave with those people who clean toilets and brains? Why do people do this kind of work that others do not want to do? People do not want to do jobs of sweepers, dishwashers, sewage cleaners, whitewashers, barbers, cobblers, porters, etc. People do not opt for these jobs because after getting educated, they get other OP options of employment. They want to earn more and think these activities are neither interesting nor of their status. This kind of work is done by poor people, people belonging to a particular community in which their elders also have done the same work, people who did not get chance to do other jobs. Some people do this kind of work as either they do not have the money to study or even after getting educated, they cannot manage to get other jobs. Why? Why did Gandhiji and his team start doing the job of cleaning? What do you think about this? Yes, Gandhiji and his team started doing the job of cleaning to change the view of some people in the society who consider the job of cleaning as a low status job. 
Gandhi ji wanted to eradicate untouchability from the society. He wanted to convey people that all works are equal and no workers big or small. How did the man who was returning from the toilet behave with Mahadev Bai? Why did he behave like this? Yes, answers. The man who was returning from the toilet behaved very rudely with Mahadev Bai. He ordered him to clean the dirt. In his opinion, cleaning being a low status job was meant for only some people in the society and not everyone. He disrespected these people and considered them as untouchables. Now it's your time. Answer the questions. A personality who fought against untouchability throughout his life. He is known as father of a nation. Yes, Mahatma Gandhi is known as father of a nation. Name the personality who fought for the justice to the people who were treated as untouchables. He was the chairman of the drafting committee of a constitution. Yes, Sri Bhim Rao Ambedkar fought for the justice of the people and he was the chairman of the drafting committee of our constitution. So the answer is Sri Bhim Rao Ambedkar. Gandhiji used to say that every person should do every kind of work. Say true or false. Yes. Answer is true. Gandhiji used to say that every person should do every kind of work. It is our duty to keep our house and surroundings clean. Tell true or false. Yes. Answer is true. It is our duty to keep our house and surroundings clean. We should treat our helpers with kindness. Tell true or false? Yes, the right answer is true. We should treat our helpers with kindness. Why did Gandhiji and his team start doing the job of cleaning? What do you think about this? Gandhiji and his team started doing the job of cleaning because they wanted to preach that cleaning is everyone's job and eradicate untouchability from society of that time. Guests at Gandhiji's ashram had to learn the work of cleaning toilets also. If you were one of the guests, what would you do? How did the man who was returning from the toilet behave with Mahadevai? Why did he behave like this? Yes, the answer is, the man who was returning from the toilet pointed to Mahadevai and said, there is a lot of dirt over there, go and clean it. He behaved like this because he saw Mahadevai cleaning the toilet and considered him a cleaning personnel. Every person should do every kind of work. Who said these words? Yes, father of a nation Mahatma Gandhi said, every person should do every kind of work. After India's freedom, under whose leadership was the constitution prepared? Answer is, after India's freedom, our constitution was prepared under the leadership of Bhim Rao Baba Saheb Ambedkar.
एट विच प्लेस वॉज गांधी जी बॉर्न ऑप्शन ए बोरबंदर ऑप्शन बी राजकोट ऑप्शन सी वर्धा ऑप्शन डी जूनागढ़ गेस राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए गांधी जी वॉज बोर्न इन पोरबंदर Who is the inspiration behind the concept of SBM Swachh Bharat Mission Option A Mahatma Gandhi Option B Jawaharlal Nehru Option C Sardar Patel Option D Moraji Desai Yes the right answer is Option A Mahatma Gandhi is the inspiration behind the concept of Swachh Bharat Mission Which award is given by the Indian government to cities and villages for cleanliness? Option A Swachh Puraskar, Option B Swachhata Puraskar, Option C Clean Region Award, Option D Nirmal Puraskar. Yes, the right answer is Option D Nirmal Puraskar. Which is the campaign started by the government of india for making india a clean and a green country option a swachh bharat abhiyan option b swachhata abhiyan option c total sanitation campaign option d nirmala da abhiyan is yes, the right answer is option a swachh bharat abhiyan swachh bharat abhiyan was launched on the occasion of Mahatma Gandhi's birth anniversary which one was it option A 100 option B 125 option C 145 yes the right answer is option C 145 that is 145th anniversary the indian government has made building toilets a priority and has pledged that Every household will have a toilet by which year? Option A 2017, Option B 2019, Option C 2021. Is the right answer is Option B 2019. What is the tagline of Swachh Bharat Abhiyan? Option A Sabka Kadam Swachhta Ki Aur. Option B Ek Kadam Swachhta Ki Aur. Option C, R A Kadam Swachhta Ki Aur. Yes, the right answer is Option B, A Kadam Swachhta Ki Aur. Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, while launching Swachh Bharat Mission, asked people to donate a minimum how many hours every year for cleanliness. Option A, fifty. Option B, hundred. option c 150 is the right answer is 100 hours every year for cleanliness the swachh bharat abhiyan logo portrays the glasses of which indian national leader is it a leader option a option b option c yes the right answer is the logo portrays the glasses of a father of a nation mahatma gandhi right answer is option c do you know when will the bal swachhta week be celebrated every year option a 15 to 20th august option b 14 to 14 november to 19 november Option C is 2nd October to 7th October. Yes, the right answer is option B, 14th November to 19th November. Can you tell the date of World Toilet Day? Option A, 19th November. Option B, 25th July. Option C, 15th September. Yes, the right answer is Option C, 15th September, is the World Toilet Day. What is the primary goal of Swachh Bharat Mission? Option A, Green India. 
ऑप्शन बी स्मार्ट इंडिया ऑप्शन सी क्लीन इंडिया एस द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी क्लीन इंडिया वॉट इज द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द स्वच्छ भारत मिशन ऑप्शन ए फोर इयर्स ऑप्शन बी फाइव इयर्स ऑप्शन बी सिक्स इयर्स यस द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द स्वच्छ भारत मिशन इज फाइव इयर्स हाउ डू वाइल्ड एनिमल्स गो टू दी बाथरूम ऑप्शन ए इन टू अ टॉयलेट ऑप्शन बी इन टू अ चेम्बर पॉट और आउटहाउस ऑप्शन सी इन टू अ लेटर बॉक्स ऑप्शन डी ऑन टू द सॉयल इज द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी द वाइल्ड एनिमल्स गो टू बाथरूम ऑन द सॉयल विच इज द क्लीनेस्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड ऑप्शन ए सिंगापुर ऑप्शन बी क्यूबा ऑप्शन सी ऑस्ट्रेलिया ऑप्शन डी फ्रांस एज द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए सिंगापुर इज द क्लीनेस्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड what type of materials or most toilets made of option a glass option b cement option c popcorn option d all of them is yes. the right answer is option c popcorn after flushing the toilet where does the water and waste go option a into a holding tank option b into a sewage system option c both of the above both a and b option d none the right answer is option c both of the above into a holding tank and into a sewage system my dear ones hope you enjoyed learned from this video